this is a table that a client of mine gave me and one of the legs was broken and the part that you screw the screw into the leg broke and I had to make a repair that's glued in there and it's being propped up until it cures. So while it's curing, I am going to be putting casters on it. Now, this table is shorter than other tables because the man who owned it was in a wheelchair and he cut the legs off to shorten the table to use it as a desk. And so it's not at a standard height. And it's hard to move around because it's so heavy. And with that bad, you know, leg right there, I'm just going to put casters on it. And that way it's easier to move around. So the casters I have are swivel. And it'll make the desk a lot, or the table a lot easier to use. All right. So what I have to do is, is I got a mark for my holes. And I'm going to pre-drill. Now I gotta be careful which kind of screws I use because they could come out of the side. So that's the center here. Center there. Center here. And center here. Here's a closer look. Everything's been caulked. That needs to be sanded. I've got to use a magic eraser and fix that. I've got to reinstall this. It's a cast iron. I forgot what the name of it is, but this is my grandmother's. I painted it. I've got to paint all of this. And just do some touch up. I gotta put another coat of paint on here. Um, the stanchions need to be painted. I did the semi gloss on the shelves for easy cleanup in case there's a spill. But the flat is on the walls and it's gonna be flat on this as well. So I'm gonna stop all this talking and we're gonna get into this video. And some of it I'll time lapse. There are a few things I want to talk to you about as I'm doing it. Let's go.
As bad as this looks, it is smooth. And it doesn't matter if I get it on the walls because the walls are painted the exact same paint. You have to put a little caulk up here, but that's all right. Didn't see that. So, getting two birds with one stone right here. And hope you can see. I think this is going to end up being just fantastic. I am a little, you know, concerned about building doors. I've never done it before, so I am a tad bit nervous about that. It's a pretty color. I could, could have named it if I wanted to, but I didn't want to. I'm going to do my level best to get this off without breaking it. Do it because I don't feel like going down to the store and getting another. There we go. Okay. Slow and steady. That seems to be. I think it's still Come on, there we go. That was close. Good thing I didn't tack all this in real well yet. and I didn't break it. Okay, let me miter that end down there and see how much I take off. I'll have to blunt cut it. I have to blunt cut it down here or I can do a miter and then I'll just think I'll just blunt cut it, hook it up back down here and then put it back all back together. But I gotta pull these nails out. So let me go do an angle cut. All right, I put a 45 on there. I gotta take it. So I gotta bring it out to here. I gotta paint it. But bring it out to here and then 45 another piece. This is going to be the part that kind of just takes all the fun out of anything. There we go. Just do it that way. I don't want to, so I got to do that all the way down. I'll be right back. I got all the nails out of the floor. So. I gotta put this cut in right here. I'm gonna paint this before I install it so I don't get paint on the floor. All right, let me get this. All right, my mark is gonna be right here. All right, let me cut it at 45. Okay, there's my 45. Let me paint these two pieces and then I'll tack it in. 